good morning friends today i want to say something about the examinations conducted by australian dental council the australian dental council examination process is a three step process stage 1 is initial assessment that i have already discussed in the episode 1 of the video series and this is the episode 2 where i'll discuss the written and practical examination of the australian dental council after going through this video you will become familiar and confident about the written and practical examination of the adc once you are declared eligible in your initial assessment process for written examination you can sit in the written examination the fee of the written examination is australian dollar 2000 as of now the written examination of adc is held at various centers in and around australia in india it is held in new delhi lucknow ahmedabad chennai bombay and so many other centers while in australia it is held in melbourne sydney perth and other places notification for the written examination is announced on the australian dental council website in december january and may june for march and september session respectively one thing you should remember that you are not required to pass oet or ielts exam for efficiency in english for your own benefit to understand the format and requirements of the written examination you must read the handbook of adc for written examination this book you can download from adc website now i'll talk about the application process for applying you should go to the adc website which is adc.org.au from there you download the latest version of the written examination application form you download it and print it carefully read the instruction and fill the form accordingly attach the documents and along with fee send it to adc office which is in melbourne there are two addresses on the form one is mailbox and other is a physical address if you are sending your application via courier which for india is more appropriate then you should use the physical address the reason is someone in person will receive your application and he will tell or he or she will tell the name to the courier guy so you will come to know that who received your written examination form in person and you will be rest assured about your application you can send it through dhl which i used in my time or you can use any other courier which you think appropriate for you once your application is accepted by adc you will be given a reference number and access to bue pearson website to book your venue and date of written examination now i'll talk about the blueprint of the written examination as you know the written examination is held over two days and each day contains two paper the paper one contains questions related with tooth conservation endodontics and cariology paper two contains the questions related with fixed and removable prosthodontics along with implantology paper 3 contains questions pertaining to anesthesiology and resuscitation infection control oral and maxillofacial surgery oral pathology oral medicine medicine and surgery pharmacology and therapeutics paper 4 contains orthodontics pediatric dentistry preventive dentistry public dental health periodontics and radiology questions related with each subject are not asked randomly 
their numbers are controlled in each paper based on certain parameters these parameters are basic science etiology clinical manifestation treatment outcome and social aspects take the example of endodontics in paper 1 five questions will be asked on etiology basic science clinical manifestation and diagnosis the number of questions asked on treatment are 10 the number of questions on outcome is 4 and of social aspect it is only one in the same way if you look at the paper 3 take for example in paper 3 oral medicine and oral pathology and periodontics in paper 4 the number of questions from oral pathology and oral medicine is 24 whereas the number of questions from periodontics is 35 so you can understand that adc wants you to read more about the oral medicine and oral pathology or paper 3 and less on other subjects because these are less important subjects although they are not to be neglected similarly the periodontics compared to other subjects have more importance based on this matrix we have prepared our questions and courses the same way so that when you sit in the exam after attending our courses you will not feel a difference now comes the question what to study the adc website has given a long list of books that contains detailed guidelines what books to study what journals to consult and what other guidelines are necessary to know for a candidate on the website of the academy of dental knowledge you can find that list there is another list on the same page that have name of the books that i studied while i was preparing for adc exam and that list is longer than the list of the adc because i wanted to gain the knowledge not only pass the adc exam few recently passed out dentists are saying that it is not necessary to study hard but you should study smartly they suggest less number of books to study and pass easily preparing for 3 4 months or maximum 6 months i don't say that you don't follow those advices if you have less than 6 months for preparation you just study smartly if you have enough time you consult the standard textbooks for the sake of your easiness i'll give a short list of the books that should be consulted when you don't have much time at least you should study those books these are like cousins mcq vouchers mcq dental dex clinical problem solving by odel therapeutic guidelines picture test by crispian scully and cousin master dentistry 1 2 and 3 and few other books you can see in this list infection control by ada topic on caries from the stud went art and science of operative dentistry the result of written exam comes after 6 or 7 weeks you can see your result on the australian dental council website and you will get a mail from adc to once you qualify the written examination you become eligible to take the practical examination to sit in the practical examination you need to apply for it within a stipulated time framework which will be declared on the adc website upon confirmation of venue you will be notified about the schedule of your examination before you reach 
the venue of practical examination i suggest that you make yourself familiar with the practical examination information package and australian dental council examination process which is an overview of adc assessment and examination process for overseas qualified dentists regarding venue of the practical exam it is held at various centers spread throughout the world if the center is not in your country i suggest that you choose melbourne as your practical exam center because if you have to go outside of your country you better go to australia so that you can understand the place the culture of a country where or you are intending to settle down once you reach the venue uh, an adc employee will give you a guided tour and explain you the procedure i'm not going in those details because i want to focus on the things you are supposed to show them to pass this exam now i'll talk to you about the details of practical exam the practical exams are held over two days one day will be clinical skills day and the other day will be technical skills day you will be sent randomly either to clinical skills day or technical skills day so you must be prepared to take any exam in clinical skills day exam there will be 10 osce objectively structured clinical examination stations where you will be needed to take history of the patient show the communication skills you might be needed to do some treatment like scaling preparation of clinical chart for periodontal patients and simultaneously viva will be taken at each, each step you will also be needed to make a diagnosis and prepare management plan for the patient besides you will be needed to do six clinical treatment part and evaluation on the treatment as well as the patients on technical skills day you will be required to work on teeth in a mannequin you will be given to prepare a complex cavity preparation like pin retained amalgam restoration you may be required to prepare class 2 cavity for silver amalgam restoration class 3 and class 4 cavity for composite restorations you may be needed to take radiographs you may also be needed to put rubber dam in mannequin on designated tooth also you will be needed to prepare excess cavity may be to show by a bmp and obturation also you also be required to prepare a design for removable partial denture on a model to pass the practical exam you must gain an overall pass in each of five cluster of clinical skills and overall pass in each of two clusters of technical skills day after you pass practical examination you will be given a pass certificate and your name will be sent to dental board of australia for information purpose you can start your registration process with dental board of australia once you are registered with dba you can apply for job or other immigration process here i want to reiterate that the academy of dental knowledge provides training for written as well as practical examination to make inquiry you can write email to us or you can call us you can do whatsapp on the number shown on our website one thing i want to say that when you call us or when you write us you should properly introduce yourself to us 
so that we can help you or we can suggest you a customized suggestion. Proper means when you write to us, you should write your name, how old are you, your gender, your marital status, you have children or not, and grossly, not exactly, about your financial status, what degree you have, BDS or MBS, how many years of experience you have. Believe me, these all factors affect your success and your chances of going to Australia. That was all you needed to know about written and practical exam. Thank you for watching this video till the end. I'll request you to share this video along with your friends because they might be looking for the same information and maybe that they did not come across this video. It would be better if you subscribe this channel so that when next video is released you will come to know immediately. Have a nice time, do good study, take care of your health and sleep well. Bye bye.